Hello everybody, today I'll be testing Unthreat free antivirus. Uh, I've never tested any product from Unthreat before, this will be my first test. So I guess they're from Cyprus, this company, and they've got a paid version and a free version just like most other companies do. And I've just grabbed the free version here, you can see that uh, this gives you just a basic antivirus and nothing much really you get automatic updates and all that but you don't get firewall or the road warrior which is secure encrypted connection feature so I mean there's nothing really much to talk about in the user interface they've got active protection and as for zero day they just have one tiny little section here that says prompt me to act upon programs with suspicious behavior However, I doubt that this might just be the heuristics. We'll see. So, I haven't changed any settings. This is how it comes from the factory. And another thing that I notice uh, in this interface is that there is no update button. So, that might be confusing, but you can do it from here. But it doesn't show any window. So, that's confusing. You can see it updated and probably there were no more updates to download. So to get some idea about what this product is using, if you open up uh, their program files, you'll see that it's almost entirely GFI stuff. It's Sunbelt. You can see even it's got a file named Viper.dll here. So it's all Viper stuff. It's using the Viper signatures, and I think it's just a different interface, but the rest of programs seems very much the same. Everything's just Sunbelt here. You can see everything signed by GFI. I mean, it's almost everything down here. See, it's GFI tools. So, it's pretty much just a rebranding of Viper, but it's free. And Viper Antivirus is paid, but I don't think this thing has a web filter. So it's basically Viper Antivirus minus the web filter. So we'll see how it does. So let me just... Okay, first uh, let's make sure it's not using too much RAM because we've got some dinosaurs who want to use this. Okay, you'll be fine. It's just using about... 4 max that's in fact that's quite impressive now I think they have one more process let me see nope that's all there is so even if you're uh, from the Triassic era and that's when you got your computer you should be fine with Unthreat so let me grab some zero day malware links to start with I've grabbed 10 links these are all from today and uh, they've got like different varying detection rates so let's see how it responds I mean if it's fiber or not we'll find out so that's the first one and it got caught the signature seems to seem to be pretty responsive so that's neat first one's caught with the signatures This is also caught, so that's nice. Looks like they don't have a web filter, but they're catching the file, so it doesn't matter. Some of these are pretty low detection rate malware, so I'm sure we'll be able to test out their zero-day defenses, at least on one of these files. Come on guys, can't you host the malware on better servers? This download speed's really annoying. And then it gets blocked. Here's another one.
and this is caught as well so I mean it's quite clear that they're using the GFI signatures which I think are quite decent and this one got caught as well Okay, this one's dead, and this one got caught. Signatures are really responsive. I mean, it's there's almost no delay between downloading and it catching it. Looks like this one bypassed the signatures, and doesn't look like they have any other kind of defense. Let's try this one. I can see I can experience a lot of system slowdown since the last file got in. I'm sure, it's doing something. everything almost just stopped responding and I can hear my CPU fan just starting to make a lot of noise this isn't good looks like something's just chewing at the CPU Looks like this is going to be missed as well. Yeah, that's not great. Let's try the last one. And hopefully we'll be able to run it before it's dead. Anyway, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's some trouble that we've run into. Surely there's some memory process. Here's one. And not quite sure of what the last one did. There were two misses. Not sure of what the other one's doing, but whatever they're doing, it's uh it's quite strange. Right now it seems to have come back to normal. Nothing's troubling me now. See, this guy is trying to do something, but it's not spiking the CPU. So the CPU is back to normal, but certainly there's something going on here. So I'll do a scan with Hitman Pro, and let's see what it finds. Quite clearly, Hitman Pro has found uh, the memory process right here, this uh, new BOS1.exe, and... Uh, it's caught by both GData and Icarus, so it's quite clearly a Trojan. Now, um, let me see if I can just end this process. If I can do that, we can just continue without having to remove it. But I'm sure there was one more file here. Anyway, we'll see towards the end of the video. Now, let me just grab some a pack of malware so we can test the detection rate, but you can see pretty much I mean if it's not in the signatures it doesn't have any defense for it and that's not good you can run it along with something else but not on its own so let me just see what kind of detection rate it manages I've grabbed a pack of malware it has uh, 500 items and these are all pretty new malware but I'm like expecting the usually high detection rates so let's see what it can do and this will tell us for sure if it's using the GFI signatures or not I mean the complete set of signatures or not 
So let's wait for this to scan and I'll be right back with the results. The scan is complete and it has successfully removed uh, 500 threads according to the numbers here. So I'm expecting 100% detection rate. Of course that's not true. But uh, we have 79 items left over. So let's try to make out the detection rate here. We had 500. So that's an 84.2% detection rate. It's not bad. It's not the best either. We've seen detection rates much higher than this. These files are fairly new. So it's run about an average detection rate. I wouldn't say it's the best or I mean it's not really great either. It's just average. So might be using the GFI signature some I mean it's hard to say but uh, I'm pretty sure they're using the full set of signatures. So let's see if it can do anything to the malware that is left behind. It wants me to reboot but there's really no point because these are not memory process. It probably said that because there's so many pieces of malware that it found. But Let's see if it has any form of defense against files that are not in its signatures. said it monitors uh, programs for suspicious activities but it doesn't look like it's doing that right now everything's just running fine sure we've got tons of memory process. Oh, this one might actually be a rootkit. This one's caught by the signatures. Just probably can catch it because it was packed. And one more got caught as well. In fact, some file that it was trying to drop got caught. So, good to see the system still working. Let's see if we've got tons of memory process. I can see tons of stuff being blocked here. Now, here's one. Just looks like there's just one. I mean, that's quite strange. Okay, maybe this one as well. And something's trying to constantly drop files into my app data folder. Those files are being blocked, but the memory process is still there. So let me see if I can delete this. And I can, that's great. So now I'll reboot and let's see what we can catch with our scanners. So I'll be right back. I just rebooted and here is something quite interesting. We have got uh, a startup item that's asking me to start this file. So quite clearly you can see this a Trojan. It doesn't create any more copies I guess or maybe it will with the course of time. But at the moment it's just uh, added a startup entry and it's going to boot every time you start your computer. You're going to get this and it's going to run right from your temporary internet files. And even if I would run CCleaner or something, it wouldn't go away because it's in memory. So I'll just let it run and uh, I'll just do a scan with Hitman Pro. And let's see what it can find apart from this file that it found last time as well. So I guess I'll pause and I'll be back with the results. I scanned with both Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes. Hitman Pro hasn't found anything other than the one file that it found before, but Malwarebytes seems to say something else. Now it's found Malware Packer, Malware Packer, 
four of these and uh, there there's a file there are two files in fact a memory process and a registry key so that's another infection but it might be the same even let's take a closer look oh so it's the same thing that hitman pro found so looks like the manwares decided to go lenient on on threat today because it's a new company in the industry because we tried so many pieces of malware and unthread just barely blocked two with its signatures and apart from that it was just defenseless but uh, yeah as I said malware probably saw this is a new guy in the block let's be easy on him but in reality the malware is going to be merciless so something like this won't survive long um, I do like the fact that it's quite light and uh, it's not annoying at all it's pretty user friendly and uh, it might be great for some combinations its signatures are pretty good but uh, you're gonna need a zero day component without zero day yeah, it's not it's not complete maybe part of your security but not your entire security so at this moment if you want to use Unthread, it's a pretty decent product it's really light and uh, it's free best of all um, you can pair it up with some decent um, zero day component and that way you might have pretty good s security so hope you guys enjoyed this little video have a nice day and thanks for watching.